verbal riot. What's happening, guys? Welcome back to Verbal Riot. And today I'm going to be talking about Alien Romulus, which I had the privilege of seeing an early screening with uh, a couple of friends on Monday, including Chris Gore. And yeah, I have a lot to say about this film. Now, here's the thing. I'm not going to get into spoilers because that would be kind of messed up. And I don't do spoiler reviews. Uh, I mean, I, I do if I don't like the movie. <laughs> so it, it tells you something that the fact that I'm not going to do a spoiler says that I, I did like the film. You know, spoiler alert there. But I, I'm a little mixed when it comes to the Alien franchise. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I, I, I love the first one, like everybody, or really Scott. I, I love the second. I love Aliens, James Cameron. Of course, classic movie. Everybody's favorite action movie from the 80s, right? Love Aliens. I was a little mixed on Alien 3. I, I love David Fincher as a director, but I didn't like his choices for Alien 3. I didn't like the way Ripley's story ended in Alien 3. So, but I but to say it's a bad movie, no. Alien 3 was not a bad movie. It just made choices that I, I wouldn't have made myself. Alien Resurrection. It, it it was two thirds of a really good movie. I really I love the cast. Michael Wincott, Michael Wincott, one of my favorite actors of all time, always plays a great villain. He has that voice, that raspy voice that I love. You had Ron Perlman, and you had Winona Ryder. I mean, it was a solid cast for uh, Alien Resurrection. And like I said, two thirds of the movie were great, were great, and they just couldn't stick the landing. Right. That third act was a mess. It was all over the place. Didn't care for it. OK. And then after that, it was all pretty much shit. Right. I mean, you had Alien versus Predator, which the first one was a novelty. It was fun. It was like watching, you know, Freddy versus Jason. You know, it, it was it was a fun popcorn movie. It, not a lot of substance, whatever. But then everything after that has just been complete trash. And especially, especially Prometheus. I hate Prometheus with all of my heart. And, and the worst part about Prometheus is that it was actually done by Ridley Scott himself. Ridley Scott himself, the man who gave us Alien, just destroyed it in Prometheus. All that goodwill destroyed. Now, obviously Ridley Scott is a legend in the business, right? And everyone loves Ridley Scott. I, I had the unpopular opinion that I think Tony Scott, his brother, was the better director, right? And I get in arguments all the time with film scholars and fellow critics and, you know, other YouTubers. I get I get into debates all the time about the fact that I think Tony Scott was the better director of the two brothers. Maybe I'm alone in that, but I'm okay with that because I stick to my guns. I, I just think he, movie for movie, Tony's made better movies. But I will never take anything away from Ridley Scott. Like I said, the guy is a legend, and he's given us a lot of great things. I'm going to be honest, though. I think his last good movie was Gladiator with Russell Crowe. And how, how long ago was that, right? Um, it, and I say good because, it, to me, Gladiator wasn't great, but it was good. It was a, it was a solid, damn good movie. You know, I don't I don't worship it the way some people worship it. Like some people think it's the greatest film ever made. I just think it was a really good movie. But I think that's the last good movie Ridley Scott has done for me. Which is funny because it brings us to Alien Romulus, right? Which he had basically produced because the movie was directed by Fide uh, Alvarez, who did the Resident, the Resident Evil remakes, the, the Sam Raimi Resident Evil. He he did the remake, and you know what? It was good. The remake of Resident Evil was solid. So the guy is a competent director. He's a good director. This movie, to be honest with you, it, it was a little, it was a mixed bag for me because there's things about this movie I loved. Right. So let let me just get into my review of this. The things I loved about Alien Romulus was the fact that. It, it at least felt like an alien movie to me. Now, I need you guys to understand, the group I went with, Gore and all the other guys I went with, they hated it. Well, 
two of them hated it. Two of us liked it, but they didn't like it. I, I, I differ. I think that this movie had certain things that make it a watchable film and an, and an enjoyable film, but there's things that really hurt it. So I'm, I'm going to get into what I like. What I liked about this film is that, like I said, it does feel like an alien film. I love the way that it feels like, uh, you know, like just from the sets, just from the the vehicles, the just, it has that '80s futuristic technology look, which I really like. It, it felt kind of old school to me, um, kind of like the first Alien. And by the way, this movie does take place between uh, Alien and Aliens. So between the first Alien and second Alien, this is like Alien 1.5. It the, all the stuff happens in between those two movies, which explains why the look is retro. And it just has that look, you know, it has the gear porn, you know, it, ha it has just the cool vehicles that are far removed from modern day. And, it, <laughs> you know, it's funny because I was thinking, I was thinking about the, uh, they showed the trailer for that new star Wars uh, show, the skeleton crew. And there's literally a part in that, in that trailer where, they go to this planet where it looked like the suburbs. It looks, it looks like they were, they filmed it in Burbank, right? They had people mowing, they had lawns, right? They had like, uh, 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 uh school buses to pick up kids. It, it, it felt so stupid, right? Not, it, it, none of this in alien, uh, the, this, it, it felt very futuristic. It felt very, uh, like I said, just 80 sci-fi. And, and I, I respect that. That, go, that goes a long way with me. So, yeah, the look the look was good. The other thing I like was the alien themselves. From what I was told, so maybe someone could say, "Oh, you're wrong about this," but I was told that the aliens in the film were actually physical, practical effects. They they weren't CGI. Don't get me wrong; there was CGI in the film, but it was done very sparingly for me and very tastefully. Right? Uh, the alien themselves were all practical and. I, I respect that. You got to respect that. And I think he did the same thing, the director, uh, Fide uh, Alvarez, did the same thing with Resident Evil. I think, I believe the the monsters in that movie were practical effects. So you, you got to give the guy credit for that, man. Um, that was great, right? The aliens themselves it, were great. It was scary. There were there were some good jumps in that, in that movie. They, they caught me a couple of times where I wasn't expecting it. And I, I jumped, you know, popcorn flying in the air, that kind of thing. I, so I, and, and I respect that, that they brought alien back to being a horror film where you were afraid of these things, right? They made the face huggers even more menacing than, in, than in the originals. Like the face huggers were scary in this movie. Right. And the xenomorphs were just, you really get the feel in this movie, how, threatening these things are like and it's just how almost impervious they are right i mean they could be killed but it takes a lot to kill them and, and they really kind of explored that in this film too so those are the good things those are the things that i really liked about the film let's get into what i didn't like <laughs> i think there were three things that really hurt this film uh number one the cast oh God, the cast was bad, man. Uh, there's there's really no major stars in this film, right? There's one recon one recognizable face for me, and that's the lead actress who uh, I believe her character's name was Rain. And she, the actress was, her name is Kaylee Spaney or something like that. She was in that movie, um, Civil War. Civil War that came out earlier this year. She was the girl with the camera who was documenting, you know, what was going on with the civil war and that whole deal. So that actress is the lead in alien Romulus. She does. Okay. She does. Okay. She, she's not the worst of that cast, but she does. She does. Okay. She's, she's, she's nothing special. She's no Sigourney Weaver. You get what I'm saying? The person who knocks it out the park for me, the only actor that, that, that really holds this movie up is an actor named David Johnson, who plays, it, basically, this is this in a spoiler. He plays an android. He plays the android in the film. And this guy goes through a character arc as an android, right? He shows more 
expression than any of the human characters in the film. That's a problem, right? He he literally holds this movie together for me. I, I think if he weren't in this film, I, I, I this would be a completely different review. But he does a good enough job that he keeps the movie from falling apart. Right. Even though I said I liked all those other things, it doesn't mean anything if the acting is bad and if the cast isn't great. Right. And I don't know why they went with this particular cast, to be honest with you, because they're all forgettable. They're all forgettable. Um, Just to show you how forgettable they are, though, I, I got to show you guys this, man. Google doesn't even bother to learn their names. It, look at that. Like Isabella Mercade, it just says actress. Under David Johnson, it just says actor. So even Google doesn't even bother like to learn these people's names. That, that, that and, and that's how forgettable they are. So yeah, I, I the cast does hurt the movie for sure. Uh, the other thing that hurts the movie for me is the the, the third act. Everything is okay until the last 15 minutes of the film. The last, thing, the last 15 minutes of the film completely goes off the rails. Completely off the rails. Okay? Like, <laughs> I, I, I don't understand the choice of, of what they did. Like I said, I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. Because it is three-fourths of a good film for me. It's a fun film. It's a fun film. But those last 15 minutes, there are some choices that are made, and I don't understand why they went with it. I really don't. And the only thing I could think of is, I think the last 15 minutes was a Ridley Scott decision. I don't think it, I don't think it was uh, Fide Alvarez. I think Ridley Scott intervened in those last 15 minutes because it, it it just, it's dumb. Like those last 15 minutes, I just, I don't understand the choice that was made with that. It, it, it's all, it's the, the problem with this film too, and this is the, goes into my third point, is for good or for bad, there are a lot of member berries, right? And sometimes they work. Sometimes the member berries work, and sometimes it hurts the film in ways I can't even describe. And one of the ways it hurts the film is in that last 15 minutes. And so that I'm not going to get into, into what it is. Cause I don't want to spoil it, but he tries to do too much. He, he obviously this movie takes place between the first and second movie. Right. But he wants us to know that it takes place. <laughs> you know what I mean? So there's, there's member berries of, Hey, you guys remember what you liked about aliens and that one scene in alien. It's a lot. It's, it's there's, there's things like that thrown in there. But overall, guys, you know, and I'm, and I'm keeping this review short because, like I said, I, I don't want to spoil anything. And if I talk too much, I am going to spoil things. The only thing about this movie that really, like I said, just hurts it is the cast. The cast, the acting. I, I, I can't even tell you how bad the, the men, that the, the, the male actors, the two leads, they're so bad that you could barely even understand a word they're saying the whole time they're talking. And you can care less when they die. You can care less. You could tell that the rest of the cast was there to be fodder for the aliens. So maybe knowing that they didn't bother to try, or maybe they're just genuinely bad actors. I don't know. Maybe they're better in other things. They were terrible in this. So that that's that's my my biggest criticism of of the cast and of this movie. Because like I said, it's a fun movie. It's a fun movie, guys. Go watch it. Uh, you're not going to you're not going to feel like you wasted your money. I, I yes, there are things about it I didn't like, but overall it was it was a, it was a fun theatrical experience. Um and you guys know that I'm pretty hard on movies. You know that <laughs> you know, I if something's bad, if something is some bullshit, I'm going to tell you. I mean, go go watch my Borderlands review if you think I'm kidding, right? Cuz if you saw that, you know that I spare no feelings. But this was this was an okay movie. It was an okay movie that's enjoyable to watch to take a date because she's going to jump a lot, or he, whatever your your taste is. It's it's just a good fun movie. So if you you know if you're expecting more than that, then 
I, I'd recommend you go watch the original Alien and James Cameron's Aliens. <laughs> so anyway guys that's it um again i i don't want to keep this too long because i don't want to spoil it for you go watch it go check it out it's a fun movie and you know i might do a spoiler free uh i mean a, a spoiler uh video later on but just for right now i think you know my recommendation is to go watch it okay uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, please like, share, and comment on the video. P please subscribe to the channel if you, ha you haven't. And I will talk to you guys soon.